to come into this year and, and work with the secondary? You guys have a little more experience back there, yourself included. Just what's it mean to, to be one of those leaders and kind of take over and, and take the next step? I mean, you look up and blink. I was just a freshman, and now I'm, I'm the leader. I'm the oldest one in the group, so it's, it's kind of it's kind of go, it goes fast. But you know, it helps. Experience helps a lot. You know, with my play and and, and just just the game period. So I'm excited to get camp underway. How's this group? How's uh, the chemistry in the secondary in particular? I mean, I feel like the the, the older guys were you know more in sync. But um, you know, we just got to get the younger guys going and, and get the young, get the younger guys more in tune with the older guys. But overall, I feel like it's going really, really well. As far as this defense, I know last year, 11 turnovers on the year. I know you guys like to bring that number up. What do you guys do as a secondary to to work on that and, and try to improve there? A uh, big emphasis on um, instead of batting the ball down, more interceptions. You know, going for going for the ball more and sh maybe stripping the ball out on when other people are in, making tackles and stuff like that. You know, just to get that turnover margin up. As this group, you guys finished last year at 500 and, and come up short. Don't get that bowl invitation. Have you guys kind of worn that as a chip, a little bit of motivation coming into this year? Uh, definitely, 100%. You know, because, I mean, we're going in 6-6, six and 6-4. Six, six and four, You know, we think we got we bowl others, but then we, you know, we lose two straight and, um, you know, and then we end up not making a bowl game. So, you know, that's definitely been the chip on our shoulder. As you look at this season, what's the biggest key to this defense taking the next step? Uh, it's starting fast, man. It was a bunch of games where we started really, really slow, and we picked it up in the second half, which we can't do. So, I mean, I feel like the biggest emphasis is, is fit, starting fast and finishing fast. This offensive line, I mean, you guys, so much experience up front, 130 plus starts. I mean, what's What's this got to feel like for this group as far as your chemistry and, and just knowing the guys next to you up front? It's definitely a comfort feeling, I think, just knowing that, you know, we, we have guys where I'm at center you have to make all the plays or call the fronts and, you know, call the mic and stuff. Whereas, you know, before I felt like I had to let people know what to do and, and now we kind of know what to do. So it's really comforting to know that, to know that, you know, the guy on my left and the guy on my right is going to pick up my slack. Same with them. It's the guy on their left, guy on the right is going to pick up their slack. So I think that that... That veteran, you know, mentality that we have in the, in the offensive line group, you know, that's really helping us propel forward, especially helping the younger guys we have in the room who are, you know, really, we got some really good freshmen, some really good sophomores coming back. And, you know, I, I think that our veterans going to help, you know, once we leave, we have another group coming up that's going to be just as good as us, if not better. So I think that's, it's really helping us. It, not only you guys as a unit, but to have the same coach two, three years ago. I've coached Nagafi back there with you guys. How much does that help the comfort level and, and your communication there too? That's definitely a, a big thing for me personally. I think a lot of other guys in the room, just having that same coach consistently come back, you know, it, it helps us. We're not getting new calls. We're getting the same thing we've had for the past three years in a row. And, you know, nothing's changing. Nothing's new, you know. I mean, maybe a little new plays here and there, but it's all the same. And he, he kind of helps us, you know, propel ourselves forward even more every single season because he expects more every season because we are, you know, all old, you know, a bunch of starts on the offensive line. So having the Gavi kind of help us, you know, motivate us, tell us we're better than what we even think we are. You guys have a lot of experience up front. There's a lot of experience across from you on that defensive line as you go in camp. Just how much does that help you guys get ready too? I think having that that – big defense line that we got really helps us because I think we have the best defense line in the conference to be completely honest so us getting to practice against them every day I think it's going to make us the best offensive line in the conference because those guys are no joke on our team up front so it's really fun honestly we, we really push each other and we really make e each other better you know especially just being with those guys the past four years now I mean I have best friends you know now that, that I've just been with through thick and thin so it's really awesome getting to go against those guys. To enter camp with a guy like Caleb Evans as your quarterback, a guy who's had starts each of the last three years, been the, the starter of each game just about the last two years in particular. How much does that help the offense too and, and having that unquestioned leader going into camp and going into the season? I think it's awesome because it's the first time that I've been here where it's not, you know, just one season having a quarterback and switching up. We've had the same as a quarterback the past three years and he's a great leader. You know, he really knows how to how to get us motivated, how to get us going, and he doesn't like, you know, average. He really wants the best from everybody, and, and I think that's, you know, just a quality trait that you would love to have in a quarterback, and Caleb's got, I mean, he's got all of it. He's got the talent, he's got the speed, and he's got the head that you want for the quarterback position. What's the biggest key for this offense ahead of game one? 
Um, I think the biggest key for us is just to keep staying motivated and keep getting ready for the season because we have, uh, you know, we have some big games coming up. We have that first Grambling game, so I, I think the biggest key is just to stay consistent and s stay tough and just stay healthy for this upcoming season. Austin, we have running back room. You guys, there's a lot of guys in there, a lot, some experience too. Just uh, what's the competition been like so far? Very, very tough. You know, uh, I think competition breeds greatness, you know, and knowing that you have to bring it every day is definitely going to bring the best out of everybody. And I think at the end of the day, that makes us all better. This group, I mean, you, you have the ability, somebody could maybe take over as the guy, could be a committee. How, how do you guys kind of work through that and, and build some chemistry? So like I said, we all we all support each other. You know, there's definitely no hating going on in the room. Like somebody breaks off a big run, we, he's back. He comes back. We're congratulating and everything. So either if it's by committee or the same guy, I think we're all going to be still one brotherhood. To have a guy like Caleb running this offense, he's been around this program four years and and had some starts in each season. How much does that help you guys as an offense with confidence and and having that defined leader out there? He's definitely at the centerpiece to our offense, and we're going to go as he goes and. We think we can, as a running back group, we think we can definitely help him take some of the load off of him and be a big help to the offense. For you guys to find consistency this year, week in, week out, how do you guys go about establishing that? Definitely, I think we need to establish the run game. You know, with our offensive line, we got 130 plus starts there. You know, definitely we can rely on us and the, the linemen in the run game to definitely open up and take, like I said, take some of the pressure off of Caleb. That offensive line you mentioned, 130 starts. Just how big is that, and, and how much do those guys help you out with, with their experience up front? It's so big because you can't you can't be a good runner unless you have good old linemen. And any, every good running back knows that. So definitely going to be leaning on those guys and helping to keep those guys up a whole season and just going as we go. What's the biggest key to this offense this year? Caleb and offensive line definitely got to uh, – Stay together for one thing, and definitely keep like keep that chip on our shoulder going six and six. Definitely playing hard and playing fast every game. Well, Cortez, you come into this year, you got a lot of time last year at that linebacker spot, and get get comfortable out there. Just what's uh, what's your comfort level with what this defense has coming into this year? Uh, as a defense as a whole, I'm very comfortable. I mean, we got a lot of O heads coming back. Everybody's on the same page. Everybody's knows the playbook. So. As a whole, I mean, defense, we're ready for this season. I feel like great things are going to happen this season for, for the defense. As you look at this uh, this group, I mean, linebacker in particular, to, to bring guys like Chase Day back, but then you're also, you know, working in some new guys too. How, how do you feel about the depth at your guys' position in particular? Oh, we're very deep at the linebacker position. I mean, me and Day get, we get our reps, but, and we know we have to teach the young guys, and they just look up to us. So they're getting their reps as well, I mean. And we just got to keep keep the train going. So to look at this defense too. I mean, it's across the board. I mean, defensive line, a lot of experience. The secondary is improving too. Just as far as you, as this group, how do you go about taking the next step and, and continuing to improve this year? Well, basically just the energy. I mean, we come we come and we approach every practice with the same energy, the same mentality. I mean, we'll basically be unstoppable as a defense because we all, like I said, we're all on the same page. We all know what we have to accomplish this year with turnovers. We, we, we press turnovers. We need as many as possible. So if we get those, we'll, defense, we'll, like I said, we'll be unstoppable. I'm looking forward to it. I heard Coach Collins mention that, you know, that's been something you guys have been working on throughout the spring, throughout the first few days of camp this fall. Just how do you go about that? What's, what's that process been like to improve that turnover rate and getting the ball back for this offense? All right, in order to improve, we've got to practice it and keep, keep uh, trying to uh, make turnovers in practice. I mean, if we practice it, then we'll eventually turn it over into the game. So we'll create more turnovers as a defense, as a whole. As you look at this group going into the season, what's the biggest key to take to move forward and move this defense, move this team forward to a bowl game this year? I just say trust the system. If we, if we all trust the system, if we all come together as a whole, knowing the offense, score points, put them on the board, and then after that defense, we got to make this stop. We just got to trust the system as a whole, and we should be successful this season. Well, Caleb, first few days of camp in, uh, how's this offense feel so far? Uh, we're feeling good. Um, just trying to execute on the little things, um, like I mentioned before, such as like the RPO system and the quick game, and things like that, um, especially with a veteran group of guys we have now, just um, getting out there, getting loose, and just going through the motions out there. To have a, where you had a guy like Marcus Green last year, make a big playmaker. I think that's the biggest question people have about this offense. How do you fill that void? What's what's your connection with these receivers, these running backs that you have coming in? 
Um, the past uh, few days, it's been pretty good. Um, like you said, we missed Marcus, but uh, them young guys been stepping up and getting out there, um, hungry for uh, hungry to get out there and play. And um, we've been having some connections uh, lately. Hopefully, we'll keep that up uh, going into the season. You work with an offensive line, 130 plus career starts. I mean, it's just a talented group, an experienced group up front. How much does that help you in your confidence as a quarterback? Well, first of all, it, it makes me feel comfortable, you know, having guys that uh, know what they're doing out there and experience and know what uh, know what kind of defenses are out there and things like that. So it's it's a confidence level for sure. Um, knowing that them guys are protecting me and I have time to um, throw it and give uh, my athletes the ball. Tight ends, another position, a little bit of depth this year. I know last year had some guys get banged up, the sickness and everything, but just you guys use the tight end more than maybe some other offenses do. Just how nice is it to have guys there, Josh Peterson and, and Tyler Lamb in particular? I mean, the experience that they have and they bring to the table. That's great, um, especially having them guys back and healthy and um, ready to play. Um, like you said, last year it was kind of getting slim out there. But this this year going into the fall, um, all of them guys are healthy. T. Lamb, Yaki, Mr. Josh, Cam, Donovan, some of the guys they're they're healthy and uh, ready to play. So I feel good about that. As you get closer to the season, what's the biggest key that this offense needs to get going before you get to week one? Hmm. Just hmm, what is the biggest thing we need to work on? <laughs> Let's think. I feel it's just the little things, you know. Um, Coming out with energy, finishing uh, drives, finishing plays, because sometimes we go uh, six plays in the rack or, or four plays, just finishing. Because we'll come out strong, just got to be able to finish in this heat, you know, because it's kind of high in Louisiana. So just finishing, and that's, that's probably the most, the most thing we need to work on. Donald, you get to come into this season with an experienced defensive line, and you're one of those guys up front. Just what's it mean to, as far as comfort level, to know these guys you have next to you and, and all the snaps you've played together, too? Um, well, from a chemistry standpoint, it's amazing because, you know, a lot of the guys that I play with, I feel them. You know, they feel me. We know how each other plays, you know. So it's uh, it's easy to get in there, you know, and know what move a guy's going to make, you know, kind of without even having to talk to him. Obviously, we talk to him because Coach Camp has really been big on communication. Uh, this file count, but it's, it's a great thing. Anytime you can bring experienced players back, and you, know, you can get guys in there that uh, know what to do already. You know, it's not really that much of a learning curve, and it's just kind of you know getting back into the feel of the game. You know, not really learning you know the plays and getting everything down right now. So that's that's been tremendous, and everybody's been moving around well. Coach Collins mentioned the depth up front that he felt like there could be up to 12 of you guys that have the ability to play. Just how much does that help you guys stay fresh and practice and then eventually when you get into games too? Um, it, it helps a lot, especially with uh, Coach Count's philosophy. He likes guys to play, you know, like a 40 snap type of deal, you know, starters, you know, uh, you know, guys that also, you know, come in after the starters, you know, like whoever that may be. So going into the fourth quarter, that really helps us a lot with being fresh and having multiple guys that can get in, you know, and get game reps and get experience, that, that helps a lot because at the end of the game, uh, when it's time to call on the guys, you know, that you want to finish it, you know, the, the guys that you want to just go kind of take over, like it, it helps a lot because those guys aren't on the sideline, you know, chugging water, gas, you know, those guys are ready to go, you know, so. Uh, another thing is negative plays were such a big thing for this defense last year is just a matter of kind of finishing things off from there and, and getting the turnover and getting off the field. Just what have you guys done to, to try to ramp that up this year and you know get the ball back to this offense as quickly as you can? Uh, Coach Collins has been really big on turnover circuits uh, this this fall camp. You know we've been working something every day. Uh, he has his Hawk and Sparrow system. You know so a Hawk would be like a, a great play. You know on the ball it'll be like a sack. It'd be a TFL. You know it'd be a strip. You know whatever, it's interception, you know, whatever it may be. A Sparrow, you know, you don't want Sparrows. That's, that's you not moving around, you're not getting off the field, you're not doing the things you're supposed to be doing. So how he does it, you know, he'll tally it up, you know, at the end of the practice, you know, we got more Hawks and Sparrows, you know, he'll cut us loose, let us go home. You got more Sparrows and Hawks, you know, get ready for conditioning, you know, so it's coming. But um, I don't know, man, it's, it's, it's been a blessing, you know. This, this is a great group, you know, to work with, you know, to play with. And uh, everybody's definitely bringing it every single day, you know, and camp just started, but, you know, guys are still hungry, you know, guys still want to come out and compete and guys are getting better. So, I mean, that, that's a good thing. What's the biggest thing for this defense to establish week to week consistency this year? Uh, our identity, you know, we got to figure out who we're going to be early in the season and how we want to play early in the season. And from what I'm, everything I'm seeing right now, we have the makings to be great, you know, a great defense, you know, nothing less than a great defense. That's the expectations, you know, that's what we want to do. Of course, you know, before you even play your first game, everybody has these expectations. So it's going to be building on last year and being more consistent after that certain point, you know, after losing, you know, 
the huge margin game to Ole Miss. You know, like it's it's gonna have to be us, you know, coming together and making sure that week by week we put together great performances. And for you to go into your senior year at home, basically, you know, what's it mean to you to to finish this off and, and continue to take the next step for this program? Uh, to finish this off uh, would be obviously ended up in a bowl game when the season's over would be great. You know, championship aspirations and expectations definitely, but to be able to to break that glass ceiling, you know, and, and to finally get to that point to where I don't know that that we've been working so hard to get to. Uh, just, just working and just coming together like as a team and the chemistry being so great, everything is lining up for us to be able to put ourselves in that position. So it means a lot to me, definitely, you know, being from here. I got a bunch of family that's going to come to the first game, obviously, in every home game after that. And that's my support system has been wonderful. So I don't know, it, it'd be good. And as far as seeing the program take the next step, uh, that, that'd be great. You know, bowl wins, you know, bowl appearances, uh, all that stuff helps everybody. You know, it, it makes the people, you know, and, and the office is happy. You know, it makes us happy. You know, it makes Coach V and everybody else happy. And I don't know, it just kind of just gets us that, that thing we've been reaching for and working for these past few years. So it'd be wonderful.